Hey guys, this is the real Spartan 9001 here, and I am here to <clears throat> episode six. Yeah, that's what I'm here to. I'm here to episode six. Yeah. Forgive me if I'm a little uh, on edge today, because my recording screwed up. Because I found out that I was a. Uh, the uh, settings for my headset were carrying over from the last uh, time I was trying to fix my microphone, and as it was trying to use my microphone, my uh, audio did not record. Wonderful! So, you know what I had to do? I had to replay the entire game up to this point. As you can probably tell, I have only 5,000 volts, because I sped through the game. So, yeah, I'm going to complete this segment that, uh, I, uh, did in the last, in, in the video that didn't work out. And then I'm going to switch back to my other save, because, thankfully, I caught it before I did, like, the whole planet. So, yeah, lucky me. I only have to do, like, the entire game a bit. So, yeah, this is the Hydro Displacer. Uh, drains and fills pools. Pretty eh compared to the uh, the Terminator from the next game. I'm not bothering to collect any bolts because this file is just going to be this is going to be my backup file. Also, there's a slide here that you can up and down instead if you want. Quality gameplay, nine out of ten. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold as well, but that's not the real issue. I discussed this story in the last recording, but I guess I'm going to have to repeat it. This sesh, this section of the game, where the uh, water is rising, I had a lot of trouble with this when I was young, because I thought you had to do something different before doing this, because it was just so damn hard, and you always died at the end, you always ran out of breath from the water rising. So, I, no joke, I actually grinded until I had the Ryo because I thought you needed that for something like to do this quest so at this stage of the game like right practically at this time state I had the Rhino so uh which is the like the, the most overpowered weapon in the game and it's the most expensive as well so uh yeah Basically, my first run through this game was like a cheese run because I had a uh, the old rhino. I always ran out of breath on that little last stretch there that just happened. So, uh, yeah, it's actually easy, pretty, pretty easy compared to like a uh, to how I can do it now because I'm an overachiever at video games. As I mentioned, I have the real platinum gun. You probably don't know what that means, but yeah. Press conference is over. Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer. Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick. Now beat it! But, sir, I'm sure that Captain Quark will understand once we... Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile... I'm stuck here making six volts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. You'd think that a superhero such as Captain Quark would be able to afford a, a security robot or something, because, you know, like, what the hell? I know he is a, you know... You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark. What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planet. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friend, we're all in grave danger, and I believe that together we can put a stop to this madness. Madness? Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet. I've been keeping an eye on you. 
and I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, but Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraction? C can you quickly quunk? Can can you quickly quit? No. Oh. Just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself, learn the secret, and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Meet me at... <coughs> Meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet. What do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. And that's practically where this video will now get cut into my other file. So, yeah, I, I really hated the failed recording. It sucks because that failed recording was actually really, uh, it was some of my better work. Uh, so, now I'm back here. I guess I'm going to jump cut. And back to my other file. So, apparently, uh, on my other file, it also counted, even though it didn't autosave, it counted as me killing all of the enemies on this path. So, just to, you know, show you all the, all this is first run through, I'm going to do this on my bad file. I don't know why I'm collecting bolts, because, you know, I'm basically going to have to run through this off-camera. Except the enemies will all be different. Soldiers aren't really that big of a problem. That much of a problem, actually. You're gonna have to wait for this bridge to be built just to jump on the iron bar. The steel beam. That was tasteless. Just knocked him off the cliff like King Leonidas. Come on, you had to expect that reference. My my YouTube name is the real Sparta9001. How could I not make a reference to 300? Yeah, how could I not make a reference to 300? I have the number 9001 in my name too. You expect me to make Dragon Ball Z references? Because you shouldn't, because I have really never watched an episode of Dragon Ball Z. It's just a number. Just like, random number thing. Uh, I can't think about a random number to say because the only random number that comes to my mind is my credit card number. Or MasterCard number. So I'm not saying that. This is downtown. It's nice. The music in this game is actually really nice too. This music returns in Ratchet and Clank 3 on, guess what planet? Yep, the exact same planet. How do I not pick up that anymore? There's the guy that sells the Rhino. 150,000 bolts, I'm not triggering because I don't want to see the cutscene. Because I, I'm avoiding all non-necessary cutscenes. I think that this... I think that the thing at the end of this path is necessary to beat the game because it gives you the... Uh, Turbo meter, I think. I, I think it does at least. Bye bye, off Captain Nobleman. Just hear the fighting in the background. And now for laser maze of epic laseriness. Lasers don't actually hurt you, they're just there to stop you. Like some telekinetic barrier. This 
except it's the future, so of course it's science instead of magic. And you know what they say about magic. Magic plus magic is still magic. These tanks. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting. I thought I think I just I discussed all this stuff in the last failed recording, but uh, you know, uh, I didn't discuss them in this recording. Those tanks d have like a lot of health, but they die in one hit from the bottom block for some reason. It's like their weakness. So, welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quirk's giving away a brand new platinum zoomerator to the winner of this competition. So yeah, you need a hoverboard to race. Why don't you have the I don't have the hoverboard? Because I didn't bother to get it, because I'm just going to skip my other file now. So excuse me while I teleport back here on my other file. Okay. Back to my good file. You can tell it's my good file because I have sixteen thousand volts, although you can't see that very well because of the lights. Now, time for the hoverboard race! Yay! The first hoverboard race is pretty boring because considering you can't. Like, tricks don't give you anything and, uh. You know. There's no special power ups or anything. This is actually gonna be incredibly hard to me because I have the half second delay from my, uh. recording thing, so, uh. Excuse me if I don't win this on my first try, I'll jump cut to it when I do then, I guess. So, yeah. I'm in fifth place and there was just a big spike of delay there. Ugh. This is why I, I won't really be able to beat this on my first try. Because between the delay of the gameplay itself and the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the spikes of lag. Oh, oh, oh god, this is this is terrible. So yeah, why well, there's six races though? So I guess I'm not really coming last. I don't know why I'm bothering to do tricks because uh, you know. Uh, it doesn't do me any good. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. I I don't think I can really, uh, you know, beat this. Oh god. Yeah, I, I cannot beat this with the delay here. I may be able to like beat most of the game if the delay, but not the race. The race is the race requires a split second timing and whatnot. Yeah. You earn a thousand volts for being one of your records at least. But uh I'm gonna have to put a cut here and then I'm gonna have to like patch this together somehow, so be right back. And we're back on this race. Uh, what I did was I plugged my uh, PS2 into my TV so I didn't get any delay and then I completed the race and got first. It, it, it was really easy actually. So now let's continue. Hi folks, Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey look! That's us! Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market! Well, folks, that's all the time we have tonight. Remember to set your info box to the Quark Classic Channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you and have a Quarkastic day! This recording session is just a big blunder around in the dark. First failed recording, then switch to bad record to, to other file, then switch back to good file, then discover. 
it didn't save all the enemies, then switch to bad file, then complete this, then switch to good file, try the race, then turn off recording, then do race, then switch back to recording. Uh, this is like, it's already been hell to edit, it's already been two hours since I started the recording, basically, and I'm trimming it down to like a 30 minute video or something. Uh, I don't know if I'll record another video today. I might actually. So, this is the real Spartan 9001. Uh, realizing that Rilgar is actually pretty much a cursed planet. Like, if you, you, recording failures are common on this planet, from what I've heard. I don't know. Maybe it's a curse. So, see you guys in the next video, which will be uploaded tomorrow, most likely. Bye bye.